When you download the uh, SI5 trial, uh, you're downloading a zip file. And once you extract or unzip that file, uh, you're going to see a uh, folder with uh, files that look similar to this. Uh, what you're going to want to do to install the software is double click the install.hta file. Uh, this is going to open up a little splash screen here. And uh, one of the first things you should do is view the installation guide. Uh, this will actually take you out to our online documentation site. And it will look something like this. Uh, some of the links here may change uh, by the time you see this. But it's going to give you instructions on how to install uh, the SI5 trial. Although there really is not much to it, but it will give you an explanation of what's actually going on here. Um, one of your uh, optional steps here would be to uh, download and install the uh, trial for uh, Microsoft Visio 2007. Uh, it's totally optional. Um, if you're not going to be doing drawing pages, you don't have to worry about this. Or if you already have uh, Visio 2003 or Visio 2007 installed on your machine, you can skip this part. Um, and the next step here would be to actually install the System Integrator 5.5 trial. And when you click this, it's going to extract uh, the files and open up a little installation wizard. When the wizard opens, um, you're just going to go ahead and click next here. Now, um, if there are prerequisites that are required that your machine does not have, the software will look for those and automatically install them. Uh, in this case, it looks like I'm going to be good, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave this as the default. It's going to install uh, to your program files directory. We don't recommend that you change that at all. Uh, accept the license uh, agreement here choose next and then click install to begin the installation. Now there are actually two components being installed here. Uh, we're installing the SI5 server and we're also installing the SI5 client. Um, now you can load the SI5 client on other machines that would connect out to this machine which is going to be the SI5 server and I will show you how to do that a little bit later in this video. Once the installation is complete, uh, you'll have the option here to click Finish, and uh, that's going to go ahead and open up then uh, the configuration, which we're actually going to configure the SI5 server. Uh, you may have noticed that on your desktop that you'll have two icons uh, after this initial install here. One is for the server administration, where you're going to create users and set up groups, and this is where you would actually create users and send them an email directly from the software with a link to download the SI5 client. And of course on this machine also we've loaded here, as you can see, the SI5 client. So I'm just going to click finish here. And again, this is going to uh, open a little window here. You leave this exactly as it is. Don't make any modifications to this at all. We're just going to grant access um, to the default. Just hit OK. And now we're going to open up, again, your configuration um, wizard for the server. When the server configuration wizard opens, you're going to have two choices. You can do the express configuration or the custom configuration. We highly recommend that you do the express installation. This is going to download and install SQL Express 2005 and everything will be set to the defaults. Um, if you choose to custom, um, we, I do recommend that that is for advanced users only and uh, there will be a separate video that is going to cover the custom install or sorry, custom configuration there will be a separate video that covers the custom configuration. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Express button. All of my defaults are filled in for me. The server name, the port, uh, some shared folders, as well as what the uh, database is uh, for our SQL databases. Just choose Next. And it's going to go ahead and download and install SQL 2005 Express. And then we'll go from there. When the configuration is complete, go ahead and click the Finish button, and uh, you're going to be prompted to register your trial version. You would have been sent a CD key uh, via email, and what you're going to want to enter here is your uh, SI5 Pro Server key. Go ahead and enter that, hit Register, and you're going to see uh, some little green check marks here along the side. Go ahead and click Finish, and what you're going to see now appear on the screen, go ahead and close this installer, is the login for the SI5 client. It's automatically filled in for you with the default username and password, which happens to be admin, admin, uh, your server name, and then of course the port. This was all, um, comes from the settings. Uh, this all comes from the settings uh, from the express configuration. 